It's so fetch. What is fetch? Oh, it's like slang from England. It's been over 10 years since Mean Girls was released, and although Fetch still hasn't happened yet, Tina Fey's now classic movie surely did. Yes, the world's love for Mean Girls has only intensified as the years have gone by, and although this movie has done wonders for some of the careers of some stars, the instant fame was almost too much for some others. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan. <clears throat> Sorry. And even though it's been a decade since this movie's debut, some of the cast still get together from time to time, as evident in this photo of Mrs. George, Janice Ian, and Damien. Oh, we mean Amy Poehler, Lizzie Kaplan, and Daniel Franzese. Oh, and let's not forget about this Instagram photo Lindsay Lohan posted recently with none other than Tina Fey. These mini Mean Girls reunions got us thinking about all the other stars and what they're up to these days. So we did just a little bit of research and are bringing you an update on where all of these folks are right now. Now let's get started with, of course, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay played the homeschooled jungle freak Katie and her rise to stardom after this movie was near meteoric. Seriously, everyone stalked her every single move, and honestly, not a lot's changed after 10 years, except for the fact that she's racked up, oh, you know, a couple DUIs, some arrests, and then several rehab trips. And how can we forget to mention the overall collapse of her career? Lindsay quickly became better known for her partying than her acting jobs, and basically every movie she's been in since then has been a flop. The queen of talk, Oprah Winfrey, tried to help Lindsay out by giving her a docu-series on her own network that debuted in early of 2014, but the ratings were, let's just say, less than desirable, as was Lindsay since the show portrayed her as a hot mess. I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you! How dare you! But as of now, Lindsay has said she's refocusing her entire career by making a permanent move to London and will star in an onstage production of Speed the Plow. Maybe things will really be a little bit different this time around. Moving on from Katie to her arch nemesis, Regina George. North Shore's Queen Bee was forever ingrained in our minds thanks to Rachel McAdams' spot on performance. And this movie was merely the launching pad of Rachel's colorful career. From comedies to dramas and even some action, this girl really has proven that she can do it all. Since Mean Girls, she starred in such movies as The Notebook, Wedding Crashers, Sherlock Holmes, The Vow, The Time Traveler, Wife, Midnight in Paris, and most recently, About Time. She's also set to star in an untitled Cameron Crowe project alongside Emma Stone and Bradley Cooper, and we are really excited about that one. As for her love life, well, she was last rumored to be dating Jake Gyllenhaal, and though those reports weren't really confirmed, they'd make one hot couple, don't you think? Now another plastic whose career has benefited from starring in Mean Girls is of course Amanda Seyfried. Since her role as Karen, who you might remember had ESPN, Amanda has starred in a variety of films and has minted herself as one of Hollywood's most sought after actresses. Some of her most memorable post Mean Girls roles include Dear John and Jennifer's Body, but of course we cannot forget about her roles in musical turn movies Mamma Mia and Les Mis. Amanda also starred in the 2014 flick A Million Ways to Die in the West and will team up with Seth MacFarlane once again for Ted 2. Oh, and she's also starring in the highly anticipated Pan movie, which is a take on Peter Pan that will also star Hugh Jackman and Rooney Mara, among many, many others. Last but not least for the plastics, that is, we have Lacey Chabert, who played the lovably attentive Gretchen Wieners. In terms of acting, Lacey hasn't really done anything super memorable since then, but has had quite a few roles in different TV shows, with the most recent being Baby Daddy. In terms of her personal life, Lacey married David Nadar on December 22nd, 2013. She's also randomly best friends with Big Bang Theory star Kaylee Cuoco and former bachelorette Ali Fedotowski. 
Moving right along, let's talk about the woman who made Mean Girls possible. That is Tina Fey, of course. Since Mean Girls, Tina racked up a ton of awards thanks to her NBC sitcom 30 Rock, but she's also taken over the big screen as well, you guys. Tina has starred in films such as Admission and Muppets Most Wanted, and will also star in the upcoming ensemble dramedy This Is Where I Leave You. And let's not forget about her incredible stints hosting the Golden Globes with BFF Amy Poehler. For his role in Dallas Buyers Club, he lost 45 pounds, or what actresses call being in a movie. And speaking of Amy Poehler, let's get a quick update on her, shall we? As we're sure you all recall, the hilarious actress played Regina George's cool mom who will let you put alcohol on your daiquiri because if you're gonna drink, she'd rather you do it in the house. That was my parents. <laughs> and she's basically been killing it ever since. Amy won a Golden Globe for her portrayal of Leslie on NBC's hit show Parks and Rec in 2014. And as that show heads into its final season, she'll team with Tina for an upcoming big screen comedy called The Nest, where they will be playing sisters. She also lent her voice to the upcoming Pixar film Inside Out. And since it was a photo of Amy with Janice Ian and Damien that inspired us to make this whole video, let's talk about where those guys are today. As you might know, Liz Kaplan, who played the sharp tongue character of Janice Ian, has experienced some pretty great success since her Mean Girl days, especially now. Not only has she starred in movies such as Hot Tub Time Machine, but she's had roles on such shows as Party Down, True Blood, and of course, Masters of Sex and she's even scored an Emmy nomination. Not too shabby. Janice would kind of be proud, but probably mostly pissed, right? Moving right along to Janice's other half, the almost too gay to function Damien, played by Daniel Frenzesi. Acting-wise, Daniel has kept pretty busy, but we're going to be honest, you probably haven't heard of many of the roles he's played. However, we're happy to report that he's kept in touch with Lindsay Lohan a little bit, and the two have had a couple of mini reunions earlier this year, which Damien, we mean Daniel, of course, documented on his Instagram page. In fact, it wasn't just the two of them who reunited, but they were also joined by a certain math enthusiast slash badass MC, AKA Kevin G. Kevin G was played by Rajiv Surendra, and he actually hasn't made a movie since Mean Girls. Very anticlimactic, my friend. However, he has since taken up an interest in knitting and calligraphy. Not even kidding, which you can check out via his Facebook page. He's also a painter and a gardener. Oh, and he met Taylor Swift earlier this year with Damien. And I'm not gonna lie, a part of me is really, really jealous. This guy is living my dream, y'all. And last but certainly not least, we have Aaron Samuels, played by Jonathan Bennett. He's kept somewhat busy since his memorable Mean Girls role, but sadly, none of the roles he's had have matched the success of the guy whose hair looks sexy when it's pushed back. His most recent stint includes a hosting gig on the MTV show Copycat and some kind of project with Glee's Heather Morris as he shared this photo on his Instagram. Oh, and one last shout out, Shane Oman, played by Diego Klattenhoff, since spending his time in the projection room above the auditorium, he had a memorable role on the Showtime's award-winning series, Homeland. And there you have it, ladies and gents, where the cast of Mean Girls is today. Now, we don't know about you guys, but we're still holding out hope for some kind of official reunion and I'm pretty sure you're with us. So start the Mean Girls combo in the comment section below about it, and then click right over here to see where the cast of another popular cultural phenomenon is today, Harry Potter. Also hit that subscribe button for all of your must-see clever updates. I'm your host, Erin Robinson, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.